Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And I know I'm not on the Venom Vlog set, uh, and this is just because of some information I got recently and I wanted to make sure I read the names correctly on my computer here. So we have some information today about Morbius. And I thought, you know what? We haven't done a Morbius episode in a while. And the last time I did one, for some reason, I got like a, like some kind of hardcore strike against me. It was like, uh, I don't know, someone reported the video as being, um, I don't know, like a, too gross or too whatever. And all we were literally talking about was the recent five issues of Morbius from the comic series, which I kind of liked. So it was like kind of a positive review for the most part uh, with a couple critiques. And yet the video was taken down and uh, removed. And even though I appealed it, I heard nothing back from YouTube because, you know, like I said, they have like half their staff working for them right now. So I understand completely, but I don't understand why someone came after my video. Uh, it really sucks because that kind of stuff can really hurt, um, you know, your channel and everything like it, it, you're standing with YouTube and I didn't do anything wrong. I literally talked about a comic book like I do in every other video and I was actually fairly positive about it. So it was just kind of a bummer. So I've, I've been staying away from Morbius stuff lately because I just felt like I was jinxed or something or cursed. Uh, but this information is, is pretty easy because it's just a couple images that are from a couple different uh, Instagram accounts or, or posts online. Um, and these are for people that are, are from people that are working on the Morbius score. Uh, they're scoring the movie right now at the Barbara Streisand scoring stage on the Sony uh, sound stages uh, where they record for movies and stuff like that. And it's pretty awesome. And this uh, we have John Ekstrand who uh, says, I am so incredibly happy and grateful to get to work with my amazing team on this awesome project. I couldn't be happier and I can't wait for everybody to hear what we've been working on. Uh, literally hear what they've been working on. Uh, so he's a composer and he's working on Morbius. He's doing the film score for it. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited to hear what uh, the sound of this movie is going to be because I'm thinking like a modern day vampire story that doesn't that is a science based vampire in a world with potentially mythical vampires as well that might now somehow kind of be adjacent to the Marvel Universe. Like it, there's so many things and we'll get into that in the next episode. We're going to talk about uh, Doctor Strange joining Spider-Man and Electro by, uh, played by Jamie Foxx uh, joining the, the new Spider-Man movie. So we'll talk about that in the next episode uh, because I want to do more content on the Venom vlog that is tied to Venom, but part of the Sony universe. And so here today, we're just going to focus on this episode on Morbius. And I'll get that next episode to you guys uh, ASAP. I'm going to record it right after this. So, uh, so I just thought this was cool. This is neat news uh, to pop up. Um, so big shout out to to them and to um, I think Morbius Movie News. I'll put a link to the the account, the actual account uh, who I saw this from. Now again, again, I don't have. Um, I have to log in and I'm not logged in to Twitter and Instagram. Although I was logged on to Instagram on my phone when I, you know, not the app, but like just if I go and look at Instagram.com because I was trying to check messages because someone said they might message me recently and I haven't seen anything from them. So I was like, okay. Uh, so I haven't really been on there, but I just randomly this account popped up and I was like, oh, I think I follow them and they follow me. But I wasn't logged in when I saw their post, but I still want to give them a shout out because they're reporting Morbius news all the time. So I want to put a link down below so you make sure you follow them and get uh, all the Morbius news that I may not be able to cover or might not see. And I'm so glad I ran into just a random thing on Google that recommended uh, these posts. So that was really awesome. So, um, so we have here that uh, from John Ekstrand. And then we have Jason LaRocca, who has also posted that he's at the Sony Pictures uh, Studios, and uh, 46 string chairs, socially distanced at Sony, are set up and ready for next week. This will be the first session back on this iconic stage since the lockdown in March, and it is so incredible to see this actually coming together. Quadruple forte, here we come. <laughs> so, uh, so they have all their chairs and everything they need spaced out. Um, this was posted about five days ago, and then from Jason, and then this John one, I think, was posted today. Uh, so this is just showing the timeline of, like, last week. They were prepping for this, setting the stage up, getting all the recording stuff ready, social distancing the chair so everyone can play and be six feet apart from each other. And so they can still record what they all have been working so hard on, uh, probably remotely, to, you know, perform. So this is really great, actually. So these posts from Jason, I'll put the pictures up. He posted three pictures. Um, he put three days ago, he posted a picture that says, day one of recording with this incredible team, everyone doing their job to keep things safe. And again, he's in a room uh, where everyone's spaced out and they're all wearing masks, showing they're, they're being very responsible while they you know, uh, put a wrap on this movie. Because typically when you're scoring, that's pretty late in the filmmaking process. So that shows that they've really slowed down. Remember, this movie was supposed to come out around Comic-Con. 
And because of COVID, it slowed down. So that does give us some time frame of, okay, they were going to have this thing ready by the summer. And this is how long it's taken them to even get to the recording of the score, which again is late in the process. So they're probably getting near buttoning up the movie and getting things ready, but they're probably still going to do a, another pass editing wise or two. Um, this is probably just scoring what might be an assembly cut or something along those lines, or maybe soon after assembly cut. But I imagine if they're getting all this ready, um, I've heard in LA there's, there's during COVID, there's been here and there a screening or two still going on. So uh, from different studios, I think Warner Brothers did one and a couple other places did one over the past few months. So there's a, or maybe right at the beginning of COVID and it's been slow lately, but uh, this may be something where they might prepare to show a screening of Morbius at some point. Normally when they do a screening soon after we get another trailer. So they're, not all the time, but sometimes. So there's a potential that maybe in the next few months, you know, next two months, maybe uh, no, uh, between October and November now, maybe by December, Maybe they'll do a, a, a brief screening, social distance people, put maybe like 40 people in the audience, see what happens, um, and then, you know, reveal a trailer afterwards. Who knows? Or maybe they will just skip the screening altogether and just cut together a trailer with actual score music that is being recorded now. Uh, either way, uh, I'm excited to hear what they're working on. I'm excited to see more from Morbius, and I'm excited to see the movie itself when it comes out next year and how it ties into all this and how they're going to make sense out of a lot of the things that we all have questions about, right? Like it, it seems um, it's an interesting character to kind of be excited for because he's a character that I'm not really a huge fan of in the comics, although I like the look of him and kind of his backstory a little bit, but I've ne I'm never like when Morbius is in a book, I'm never like, yay, it's Morbius. I'm kind of like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's cool, you know, but uh, but this movie's intrigued me a little bit more about the character because I think they got a good actor to play him and I think they have a good cast in the movie in general, so I'm curious to see it all come together. Um, so yeah, so those are our images from Jason and our image from John there. So two images, I'm sorry, I think I said three images, but uh, two images from Jason and one from John there. And uh, that's awesome. Like I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what else, uh, you know, any kind of other news we get from Morbius. I'm excited to see that pop up. And uh, again, from that Twitter account, even though I'm not on Twitter anymore and I'm following anyone uh, or like actively, you know, paying attention to what's going on, uh, I'm... I'm probably going to jump back on Instagram early next year as we gear up for Venom 2. So if you guys are wanting to know uh, why I'm keeping that account around. But I still haven't pulled the trigger on deleting Twitter yet. I still find myself going to it from time to time to check to see if I get any messages from friends that I've tried to reach out to before, you know, like during all this COVID stuff that I haven't heard back from. But I'm only going to give them a little bit more time to get back to me. And then I'm probably going to just, you know, uh, delete Twitter. But early next year, I'll probably get back on Instagram so we can get back to posting about Venom and all of the political stuff will have died down hopefully by then hopefully or at least there will be enough to where I can kind of focus on venom and not get swept up in it I don't know who knows the world could be over in a few weeks we have no idea um but my plan is to maybe go back to Instagram just for a couple months leading up to Venom 2 uh, for that, you know, and Morbius release. So you might see me back on Instagram at least uh, during that time. Um, but uh, let me know what you think of this information. Are you excited to hear the score? You know, what kind of sound do you hope for? I'm like, I'm thinking of all these movies that have vampires in them, like, uh, you know, Dracula or, or even Lost Boys. But Lost Boys had like an 80s soundtrack to it, though. But it did have a score, but it was just like mostly 80s soundtrack, uh, like hair metal bands and stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of like trying to think of like this i'm thinking of castlevania and i think of how epic castlevania sounds uh because blade had like uh techno and like hip-hop which was great uh, you know it was like a great mesh between the two for for blade with the action scenes and stuff but this i imagine will have some action scenes but there'll be more borderline horror action and that i'm i'm very intrigued to see how uh, this director pulls that in so uh so and then with the the music going with it i hope it sounds really epic and scary and old you know i hope they use a lot of old instruments or old sounding instruments to kind of give it some some age to the 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 music you know like i when i think of vampires you you go back to like bella lugosi and you know even before that a little bit but you think of like older sounds like you know like uh you know just giant grand pianos you know da -da -da, da -da -da, you know you think of i do at least think of stuff like that things that have like these um kind of like an older you know make make a sound that doesn't sound like i don't want i don't want a lot of modernness to it but then again maybe they'll splice in some modernness 
uh, you know, sounds to like the old stuff. Maybe they'll do a hybrid or something, a fusion of something. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see, but I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know. What do you think? Uh, you know, are you excited for, you know, to hear some of the music for this movie? Are you excited to know that they're this far along in making the movie? And like I said, if that, that paints us a picture now, this movie was supposed to be done by Comic-Con and released around that time. And it's now October and they're just now adding the score to it, obviously for a lot of reasons, COVID and stuff. But that should give you a timeline of how much they've slowed down during COVID. And, you know, and that and that could help us apply that to Venom. So I imagine that if, if that's the case with Morbius, then Venom is definitely still in the editing process. It's probably not near the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the scoring part yet. And, and they're probably still working on some kind of assembly cut, especially with Andy Serkis going back and forth between the movie, uh, you know, the Venom 2 movie, and then also the Batman. So, um, so I'm sure we'll find more information out about that too, but it's nice to get some Morbius news for now. So you guys let me know what you think of all this. And with this news, like this is kind of like under the radar news. The next episode I make is going to be about stuff that hit major websites, like, you know, like a Hollywood Reporter and stuff like that, where Jamie Foxx is coming back as Electro and Doctor Strange is coming back, uh, to be in Spider-Man 3 and possibly setting up a multiverse since Doctor Strange's next movie is about the multiverse. So it seems like we're going to get that set up now here in the Spider-Man 3 movie. So that's major news. So we'll cover that in the next episode. And I'm hoping that Sony is building up to releasing more stuff. And hopefully we get, you know, we just got that little snippet of, uh, you know, uh, Venom 2 news from Woody Harrelson the other day. I'm hoping, and there's been more sightings of Tom Hardy lately from fans and stuff of like him out in public and stuff and taking pictures with them. And he's still so nice, like taking pictures with people, just standing back, you know, a little bit out of frame, uh, you know, take his mask off, quick picture, puts his mask back on. Seems like a really awesome dude. So I'm hoping this is all like a precursor to maybe some more information coming very soon. Uh, that would be awesome. So you guys let me know what you think down below. We'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.